Hi guys and welcome to my video doing Penilla Strikers October Challenge. Penilla is an online fitness influencer who I've admired for some time and I finally decided to do one of her challenges. I've actually tried several such challenges by other influencers in the past but I've struggled to either be consistent with what they're asking me to do or I just lose enthusiasm and give up. But Penilla provides a community of other people doing the challenge and gives her own personal help during the weeks. So I'm hoping that this personal touch motivates me to complete the whole thing this time. So let's explain the challenge. So she offers three nutritional approaches. There's calorie counting, nutritional awareness on the go and intuitive eating. I have chosen intuitive eating, which basically just means making healthy and better choices, including the decision to spend this month not eating two of my loved foods, crisps and chocolate. I feel that calorie counting for me feels focused on changing your aesthetic, but this isn't enough of a motivation for me to maintain consistency. So I will also focus on eating as much protein as possible, which will hopefully help me with craving to eat more food than I actually need to. There is also a 30 day journaling challenge with daily suggestions and things to think about when doing it. Journaling is something that I have always found helpful, but again, often fall off the consistency wagon when using it as a daily mode of things. I wanna just get off my chest. There is a morning routine to create from suggestions that Penilla gives from which I have chosen to focus on gratitude, reading a chapter from a self-development book and a short meditation. And of course, there are the weighted workouts of which there are four a week plus two active rest days in which you've got to do something that you enjoy, like walking or boxing or football or tennis or paddleboard. So let's get started and see if by the end of this challenge, I like Penilla as much as I do now. Evening guys, it's the night before starting the 30 day Penilla October challenge and I just figured as I'm giving up crisps, chocolate and biscuits that I would lament over my final packet of cheese and the pizza. miss you guys. Mm. Oh. 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 Is it October challenge start time? Just five more minutes, Penelope. Just five more minutes. Okay, so, time to try meditation one of the October challenge today, because I've not done meditation very much in the past, I'm going to just do five minutes, so I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to set a time on here, so, I'm just going to focus on closing my eyes, emptying my mind and breathing. Well, that was actually uh, harder than I thought, and five minutes definitely felt like a long time. I was very much aware of all the sounds around me and my mind wandering. But it's day one. I'm sure I'll get better. Okay, so one of the other parts of my morning routine is gratitude. 
So this morning, I am grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this challenge. Uh, I'm also grateful that I'm healthy. And I'm also really grateful that I live in a country without conflict. Hi, Lester. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good. Really enjoyed your uh, uh, eight, nine minute motivational video that I kind of rewatched this morning. I know it said it was for women and it said something about being a girl halfway through, but I thought, you know, it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, so I managed to do my attempt my first meditation this morning and gratitude and various bits and bobs and then I'm going to go and do my my workout tonight after I've done orchestra. How did you feel? Yeah, yeah, it was. It it definitely took a bit of uh, uh, getting my focus and not listening to sounds outside and then drifting off to to that, but. I just started with five minutes today and I just thought I'll I'll build it up rather than uh, well, hard, uh, five minutes is amazing to start. And what you're saying about like trying to keep focused, I've been meditating for many years and it's still something like that's the whole point of the practice. It, it's just, you know, get focused, focus, focus, focus whenever you start getting distracted. So amazing. I yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm going to disappear, but I just wanted to say hello and have an amazing work day. Thank you so much for jumping you know. on. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you. Bye. See you all later. Take care. Bye. Day two, just done my second meditation. I'm starting to feel like it might be better, even though it's part of the morning routine, to, uh, to do it at night. Uh, I just find it very difficult not to be infiltrated by all the things to get done this morning. Pack ups, sun, stunning bird. So maybe I'll try another one tonight and see if I find it any easier. Hi guys, I've just finished. Day two, I can't even remember what it was called, it's that hard, my arms are shaking holding the camera. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was called Insanely Intense, Ridiculous, Upper Body, You're Insane to Do This Day. I've really struggled to finish this one, to be honest, and missed out one super set of ab work, but otherwise I feel pretty good that I got as much of it done as I did with the weights that I have. And now it's time. <laughs> Juggle abs. Bye guys. Hey guys, so it's active rest day. Uh, I am making quite a lot after the workouts. So I have decided to do a nice chilled out walk. Hey guys, sorry I haven't uh, documented things properly this weekend, but it's been pretty busy weekend but i did do the upper body workout um and obviously there was a rest day as well and just waiting to go on the weekly zoom with panilla so hopefully i'll have a clip of that to show you later on but from a grounded or like a higher self perspective ask yourself what what would how, what would it look like if i really took care of myself right now what would i need no, yesterday when I was at um, school, we had a, a an open day, so we had to be there for quite a few hours to showcase the school, basically, and I'd forgotten to eat breakfast. And what I would normally do is our head of department is amazing, and she brings in countless boxes of biscuits. <laughs> and I don't know how many biscuits I've eaten over the months and years. But I've managed not to eat them this time. But yesterday I, I got to a point where I was so hungry. I really had to try hard not to go down to the office and get those biscuits until we were in a an orchestra rehearsal. Um, and one of the students who was playing uh, the trumpet behind me um, kind of offered me her cookie. And 
for a moment I thought I can't because it'll just ruin everything but then I managed to tell myself that it was okay because I hadn't eaten anything and I didn't want to come across rude or anything like that and for the first time in quite a long time I didn't feel like I'd ruined the week just because I had something that I really kind of needed at that time it wouldn't have mattered what the food was it was just I was starting to feel a little bit um you know n- not dizzy but you know when you feel like your blood sugar's kind of gone and you just kind of think I need something um so I found that really encouraging for myself that I didn't feel norm- normally I would feel like I'd failed the week because I'd done that and that would be the end of the challenge so I feel good that I kind of did that in, in spite of that and then still did the upper body workout today which I had to do because of work yesterday but that's big that's so big because it's <laughs> black and white right and in that moment the right call was to eat the cookie yeah it was nice as well so <laughs> and that's what I'm hoping that we all get better at and I'm still learning it's like understanding that it's not black and white, but it's like what do we need in this very moment and listening to our bodies and our what we need like yeah that's so big congratulations on that thank you <laughs> What better time to cook a nice, healthy meal than to be watching a bit of Pernil? Well, guys, I've got in from work, put the dinner on, and I made a promise to Penilla to get my workout done as soon as I got home. <sighs> Here we go. more to go guys hey guys it is week two day two and today is upper body workout uh it's like nearly 8 p.m really tired can you tell um and i've been procrastinating way too long about doing this workout and i haven't quite although i did last night did the workout before i settled down uh to keep up the bargain with the deal with panilla um but i've not done that tonight although i don't want to go to sleep feeling like i've not done the workout (sighs) okay i've done the workout guys i am rather tired and i am yet to uh Let me check my list. Journal, meditate, read, and be grateful. So perhaps I'll just do my gratitude on here now. So today, I am grateful that um, I've got a house, a fully functioning house, uh, that I'm really blessed that I don't have to worry about that like some people do. Um, I'm really blessed to have two wonderful children and I'm lucky that I get and have the option to work out and look after my body and my mental health. Uh, And just as an extra one, obviously grateful for this challenge because it's making me if nothing else, do more than I would have done without it, even if I don't complete every single task, every single day. So, here's to a good night's sleep, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, Well, obviously, it's not been the best week. It started off pretty good. Monday, Tuesday, I did the two workouts. Odd little bits of journaling here and there, I think. I can't even remember. And then the rest of the week kind of ran away from me oh just like my phone did there um i have however managed to get through uh the majority of one of the books that i've been reading by yourself the damn flowers bloody hell (laughs) honestly so uh from the book by yourself the damn flowers um I found some interesting things about habits that 
uh, she uses rather than pressuring yourself to do particular habits every single day which sometimes you don't always feel like but I guess then it's not a habit if you don't do it every day I don't know I'm a bit confused her suggestion anyway was to make a list of 10 habits that you'd like to incorporate into your life and um, depending on the energy that you've got or bring to that particular day you can choose off the list of habits so you're doing habits just not necessarily the same one every day um, normalizing crying as a form of emotional relief um, I did find that this morning I felt very much like I had a lot of built-up emotions and I don't know you get that physical feeling that feeling in here where the only way you'd be able to release it is by crying but you're not always in a situation where you'd feel comfortable doing that hey guys so taking inspiration from Penilla's podcast YouTube this week about getting steps in and how good it is for you uh, parking further away from things all that kind of stuff uh, someone's coming it's embarrassing yeah so I was saying uh, so I needed to go to the chemist didn't really feel like walking but I thought what the hell I'll go and walk to the chemist and get the steps in just like the ideas of parking further away from things walking when you can hey guys it's been a while not really been feeling very well for the last week and then it's taken me a little while to get back into the uh get some motivation back to get into working out so I'm going to try and do something now even if it's not a full workout I've missed the Penilla calls but have been listening to the podcasts uh, guys I'm definitely feeling the muscles have lost some muscle in the week or so that I've not done any workouts but I've told myself that I'm going to at least work out for as long as this Penilla podcast lasts which is about 25 minutes Come on, I've got to at least do that. Oh my god, okay. Do I have people around me that were aligning in, in this part of life, like uh, not professionally, in other ways? And I felt this loneliness again. Like, I'm feeling this loneliness quite often lately. And I wanted to ask all of you if you have experienced that, if you're experiencing this loneliness at this very moment. Because uh, what came up in my mind was like, so much harder after a break. Consistency really is the key, guys. And work on myself. Constantly been pulling myself new wisdom in my podcast and books and reading and really like been very clear and specific on my goals. And through self love, done those things that were necessary for me to get there. So it's really. Take a second to notice where you are in space. So, how big is the room? Are you outside? Can you see? And if you feel comfortable to do so, gently close your eyes. Hey guys, so I'm at school all day today. I've got a concert this evening, so I can't work out. So, I've decided rather than getting in the car, I'm going to walk to the shops uh, to get the food that we're going to have for dinner um, before rehearsing. Uh, so I thought I'd get some fresh air, stretch the legs and just get some active minutes in. Good for the mind. And I'm also listening to, by yourself, the damn flowers. Surrounded by nature. Hi guys, so it's coming towards the end of the challenge now. Uh, tomorrow we've got our final call with Penilla, And then the month is done. Uh, I'm hoping to talk to... Penilla about some of the things that I've gotten out of the challenge. Uh, I've also signed up to a monthly membership, which means we get access to every monthly challenge. Um, but what I hope to just basically tell Penilla, not because I'm after any feedback or advice or anything, uh, really is the thing that I've found that I've benefited the most from, from doing this challenge because of the uh, weekly calls which of course I've not made them all unfortunately but having that kind of online community as well 
has, for whatever reason, whether it's a, a level of accountability uh, or not wanting to kind of disappoint, uh, even though I've had a couple of bad weeks in particular in the middle, uh, with not being very well, not really doing much, uh, that actually unusually didn't stop me from wanting to keep doing things within the challenge or to make the last week a better week, which it has. But I still haven't managed to do everything every day, far from it. Because obviously, as you remember at the beginning, there was uh, journaling, there's doing the workouts, uh, active rest days, uh, reading self-help book or, you know, just reading in general, uh, gratitude, all, all sorts of things. Um, so I think my focus is going to be that actually this has made me do more than I would normally. This has made me uh, try something relatively new in meditation. And I think what I need to aim for in the coming months in the challenges is not right I need to do this next month perfect this time but I need to focus maybe on one of the aspects of the challenge to do better at than I did the previous time so that it's all about just getting better or growing or however you you want to put it anyway so uh, hoping to do another workout this weekend to finish the weekend off uh, zoom call with Penilla and yeah, guys. Okay, so one of the things that I actually did manage to complete was um, reading, or should I say listening, um, to a book which um, I chose that as part of these challenges, or at least for this one, that I wanted to read something that would be uh, based around kind of personal growth, things like that. I had planned to do uh, Buy Your Own Damn Flowers and uh, another one called Little Things by Fern Cotton, which I have started, but I did finish the one by Your Own Damn Flowers, which in all fairness, you can tell when you're listening to it, is very much written, aimed at women, but I have taken an awful lot out of it, including things like... Um, what's the word? Um, so including things like evaluating the kind of things that make you feel like you've got the energy to give to something or to someone. So things that you need to do to kind of almost fill up that tank of energy for giving to others, but also trying to recognise that there are both people, situations and things that you might give a lot of energy to and maybe don't get back any energy or at the very least don't get back the same kind of energy um, which doesn't really help you as a person to grow if you're not getting things from somebody not things as in like a tick list I've done this for you so I want that back um, but one thing that she said was if you're meeting with somebody and it's a friend or whoever it is and you're not coming away from spending time with that person feeling kind of energised or uh, enthusiastic or just like inspired or having really felt like it's done your um, self some good, um, then it's worth re-evaluating how you spend your time. I found the book really, really good and really, really interesting uh, and it always helps when the uh, in my opinion, the narrator is the actual author, um, because then the beauty I find about the audio books as opposed to just reading it is, is that their expression, feelings and emotions come through much stronger um, than they might do when you're reading it. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I've really enjoyed the book, would really recommend it. I'd, I'd really recommend the book and I'm uh, really happy that it's one that I chose uh, to read during this challenge. But I just wanted to say uh, that, you know, I've really enjoyed doing it. And I think one of the biggest things that I've kind of got out of it compared to other challenges with having the accountability of the group and the meetings with you is 
feeling okay that when you've not done things that um you know it's not like I just quit like I have before I then got back into trying to do what I can and then building it back up and wanting to keep whatever elements of the challenge that I could going whilst getting back into it so I thought that was quite nice that's big because that's really what determines whether or not you succeed, right? It's whether or not you get up from those bumps in the roads that are going to happen no matter what. Like me, who's been in shape for many years at this point, like I'll still have times where I fall a little bit off, but it's every time you get better and better at getting back up. And that's really what will lead to long-term success. So that makes me happy, Lester, that that's something you've experienced. Are you feeling better now? This week? Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank you. Good. I think it, uh, yeah, I think it makes it easier to get out of that uh, all or nothing mentality as well. Yeah. Uh, which is something that I'm particularly bad with. Um, whereas normally I would have just stopped and quit because I wasn't doing it as I was supposed to be doing it in my mind. Um, <laughs> so that was quite interesting to see that that wasn't the case this time. That's really cool to hear. Are you going to continue? Uh, yeah. Yeah I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, yeah, I've I've signed the membership thing. So I assume. The, I didn't uh, even the... mean like, not that you had to continue with me, but I just want you to, you know, these habits that make you feel so good, but I'm happy that you do want to stay in this community. <laughs> I'm very happy. But just in general. Yeah. yeah. I, I, def I definitely think it's, I haven't done it perfectly by any stretch of the imagination. So it's there a case is no of trying such to thing is perfect. So. Try, trying to improve pick something to improve on in the coming weeks and then pick something else when that's become more of a habit I guess because it's the trying to do everything all at once and then not doing it which makes it harder to continue with any of them I think so so I definitely would like to do better at the the journaling for sure mm. um in in the in the next month rather than making myself feel like I've got to achieve everything it's just about doing better than the last time isn't it I think is what I'm 100%. starting to yeah. think yeah absolutely do you know what your goal is for either next week or in November uh again I think just building on what I've already done and then recognizing the habits that I maybe haven't done as well at that I would have liked to have done and trying to find ways to build those in more frequently I think is the biggest thing rather than thinking I need to achieve three of these seven of these and whatever it is to stop myself kind of getting despondent about what I've not done rather than celebrating what I have done that's amazing that's really yeah that's a that's a win with those yeah changes. definitely yeah. Amazing. That makes me so happy. I'm impressed yeah, so by I don't... you. Sorry? I'm impressed by you too. You've been really good at sharing everything that's been happening in your life. And it's just made me so happy to see how you've shown up for yourself, even in the midst of challenges coming up. It's amazing. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's, yeah. it's nice to have that community platform as well for, for that with you, with yourself, obviously, as well. So. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing.